patrol exercise in a training village in the Welsh mountains. These soldiers are simulating sweeping for chemical or biological agents. Gas, gas, gas. When the simulation exercise detects gas, the soldiers are assessed on their response, how they protect themselves and each other. Another simulation involves extracting an injured civilian from a burning car. He's an actor from Amputees in Action, a group which helps the MOD bring realism to training exercises like this. The soldiers help save his life in the field before evacuating him to safety. Three, two, one. Up. Mate, you're doing really, really well. Exercise Cambrian Patrol is in its 62nd year, having missed last year because of the pandemic. It's a mix of regular, reserve and training corps, including 20 international patrols, which have competed to be here. And it is, I think without doubt, recognised as the toughest patrolling exercise in the world. It's respected by our own people, uh, as well as a wide range of our international partner um, militaries. The patrolling mission lasts two days over a challenging 37 miles while carrying full kit and equipment. There's a water crossing too, which takes place at night and while the soldiers get wet, their weapons must stay dry. The landscape lends itself to testing our best soldiers uh, in the most realistic um, context and environmental conditions uh, that the UK has to offer. Uh, of course, in the Black Mountains and uh, in the Brecon Beacons, uh, we have long honed our very finest soldiers. Um, so I think uh, this environment uh, lends uh, a unique aspect to Cambrian patrol. In every exercise, the patrols are assessed and aim to return to base with a gold, silver or bronze medal. Only 5% get the top award, while around a third fail to finish. It was really hard. Uh, they, uh... The terrain was really rough, really wet, really hard and with this uh, heavy weight on our back it was uh, a new experience for our team and such an area, such a long distance uh, in this country was yeah, quite really hard. The exercise is a showcase for Wales as a defence training ground and plays host to politicians such as the Welsh Secretary of State Simon Hart and Welsh Office Minister David Davies. It's also an opportunity for the Army to try on new equipment before it comes into general service. Victoria Smith, Forces News.